my voice is not so beautiful because I'm very tired uh, at this uh, dub uh, session. I'm going to dub my uh, last video. I'm talking here about um, the fact that I want to show you a few things that I made and I want to show you today the envelope insert that's inspired by Tracy Fox and also by the other crafters that are inspired by Tracy and here I show you my version of the envelope insert and uh, what I did with it um, so that's what I want to show you in this video the most uh, today. I accelerated the part that I decorate my envelope insert and that's what uh, I did with this video. So I'm sorry, I'm just on a whim dubbing this. Here I show you my new punches, they're from the Hema. That's a Dutch store and they were very, very cheap because I got them at the outlet and one has a magnet and as I now show you, it's a very small label. I even have a smaller label than that. So those are very, very nice for mini, uh, for mini products for me that you do with your bigger journals or you sell them separately. I had a little shoe as well for my daughter, mostly because she likes uh, everything that has to do with clothing and shoes. And I had a, a scallop rim. Uh, it's not an equal rim. It has bigger and smaller. As you can see on the video, you can see it has bigger and smaller hoops of shell uh, scallops. Now I will show you a paper that I made. The pictures that are on the paper are not mine, but the rest is mine. So the coloring, the writing, everything is mine. It's a, a, a template that I want to scan in so that I can use that in my journals as an extra in something. I also decorated the back side and I will show you that as well. So every, every writing that's on there is my own writing. It's old Dutch. And the only thing that's not mine is, is the pictures, but I will, if I have it digitally, I can adjust that a little to make it my own a little. So that's the backside. And that's where I want to type. We have a very old typewriter and uh, I want to use the typewriter for typing words there. And that's the paper that I already, I think I showed you. That's the basic paper that I scanned in from the old register uh, checks that I got from my mom. And I did digitalize this as well. I made it a little bit different. I, I, I cut the edge, uh, softened the edges a little bit. I added splashes so that it looks older and more used. And this is the part that I'm going to talk about, the envelope insert that we're going to make. And I wanted to show you again how I made it and that if you take a paper and make your own envelopes that you have a need of less decoration. And that's what I'm trying to tell here. I'm showing you what I had an A4, just an A4, an, an European A4. I made the, the top is a scrap paper and the square is seven, uh, one eight inch. And there it's a perfect square. So every side is seven inch and one eighth. And that's the size of the paper that I want to make the envelope with. And here I'm talking about uh, that you can make it with any envelope that you want, that you can have normal envelopes that you have in your stash. Sometimes you have those smaller Christmas cards and you have those small envelopes with it and then you can use those as the smaller part of your insert. And that's what I'm explaining here, that you can make it with any envelope that you want and that you can decorate any envelope that you 
have in your stash if you find that easier. I'm showing you that it's very complete and that I have all the tags, all the journal cards and that I made a paper clip and that it's uh, very nice. This is just me putting it, the tag back into the envelope. And now we're going to start making the envelope. I probably here can tell you again that that's the rest paper and I don't know what the messages are like that. It's just the top of the A4 paper that I used. And that's where I'm going to make the money envelope with. And the square is the, the envelope um, that I'm going to use as the normal envelope. Here I'm going to tell you what materials I have. I have little tags from cards. I have journal cards. I have a background card that I can use anything I like with and do with it. And I have a few circles. And I have a piece of scrap paper that I inked. And I think I'm going to make tags with that as well. So. That's the paper I'm going to use. It's seven inches by one eight, seven one eight inches. And that's the, just the rest of the paper that was left of the A4. So those are going to be my envelopes because a money envelope, you can make the size you want it to be. And that's, so I make two different kinds of envelopes. One is based on a money envelope um, a money pouch that uh, the wages came in in the early days and the other is a normal envelope and I make my envelope with a envelope punch and if you don't have an envelope punch you can also use a, the bigger size paper for a money envelope idea because you don't need to have a real envelope you can make your own envelope And uh, here I'm punching it at two and uh, three quarters. It's two and three quarters at the first punch. And then you just need to follow the guidelines of your score lines and the little tippy that's in the envelope punch. And the, the, the a, you saw that the A4 was cut up in two pieces, but uh, there was a little piece left that I used later on to make a belly band with. I didn't throw that away. The only thing that I threw away is what you see, what I threw away. Everything else that was bigger than that, I save. Because you can also use scraps in your uh, paper clusters and stuff like that. I'm folding it here. I'm not inking this by not not because i forgot it's on purpose that i didn't ink this because if you don't ink the paper in between because then it will flow you can see that the, the images flow over in each other on the back side so you have a minimal of decoration necessity so here i'm gluing it with my bison stick i forgot to get take the cap off off uh, I make a mistake here as well because I'm, I'm gluing the tip and I didn't want to glue the tip so I wiped that off again because I'm noticing I made that mistake because you need to have an open envelope you need to be able to open it if you cut the top so I didn't ink on purpose my envelope but you can if you want but I didn't do that with this case because then the lines will flow over each other and it makes a beautiful design paper or envelope of how you will call it. I'm cleaning my desk because the glue is on my desk. So that's the start. I make sure that it's still open on the top and then I will close it totally. If you have a normal envelope, that's what you do with your normal envelope as well. You just close the envelope. Here's my bone folder, I squeeze it. Now you can see that it 
flows over. The, the design of the paper is not um, all snip snap. It gives a, a better hole. It was a little bit too long, so I cut it there a little piece off. You won't see that at all. Now I'm going to take my scoreboard, uh, we are, it's for my memory keepers, or we are, and I'm cutting off the, the, the top. I'm, I'm choosing which side I want to cut off. And you can cut off as much as you like here, in all with your normal envelope, if you just want to take half a centimeter or an eighth uh, uh, of inches is what you like. I just barely touch the top, but my cutters, my knives on the board are not that nice. And with this envelope, later on, I will round the corners because the knife didn't cut a beautiful edge with this envelope. And you see it's open. It's totally open. You can put something in there and I'm going to put a tag in there. But you can also put a journal card in it or a photo card in it. See around it. I have a problem with my punch, so you have a cut here. Because the punch didn't work with me. It didn't really didn't work. I need I needed to ask my mom, my husband to get me my uh, punch back. It's a very old punch. I have another other round corner punch, but yeah, it just didn't. Uh, now you can see I rounded it. And yeah, I show you there that I didn't round them. And so it's not really a necessity because I did it with this one because the cutting edge was not uh, nice. It was yeah raveled a little. So I rounded my corners there. And the roughness is not so very big a problem, but if it's very tightly wrinkled, that was for me the problem. And I'm here inking the edges because as a definition of your product and it's a nice uh, discoloring as well. And it's a nice uh, definer to ink. But you don't have to ink. It's not an obligation. If you don't like to ink, then don't ink. But that's the first envelope. And I will make the next one a little bit later. And then this will dry. And you see, I show you again that the lines of the paper, because I didn't ink, it, they flow over in each other and it gives a nice decoration only already from the paper. So the decoration is, a total decoration is in this case not necessary. But if you have a plain envelope, please, if you want to decorate it, decorate it. It's very nice. And if you have the, the, the time and the will to do it, so I make it a little bit smaller than the width of the bigger envelope. Later on, I will take a little piece off. I'm just here folding it. And I will use my scoreboard also to score a little. And I will cut off a little of the end, as you will see me do here. I hope it's straight. You know me and scissors and cutting. Cutting is really not my strongest point. But I think I already said that in my Dutch videos. I really am bad at uh, cutting straight. So fussy cutting is not my real, not really my thing. So I'd rather go with die cuts and, and punches and stuff like that. Here I will score the bottom. It's about half an inch. And the other one is just what we have left over. And then I will cut the pieces out that we don't need there. So that's the principle of a money envelope. And I will cut them a little bit. Uh, 
a, a, a sliver of a rectangular or yeah no not rectangular it's a tri tricycle triangular I, I hear my husband say a triangular shape out of the bottom and a little on the side just a sliver it doesn't need to be a whole triangular it's just a little bit to make the folds neatly and I decide to punch my hole out now because I have a really big machine and this is a really big uh, punch it's a nice uh, I thought two and a half inch punch and I just take a little edge of it and I will ink the top and a little bit of the back side so that when I close it you don't see all the white don't know if you can see if I do that but I do also a little bit of the back side that shows through it I'm gonna inked that with a lighter this is a uh, distress inked uh, antique linen so that's lighter than antique photo and everything's from Tim Holtz uh, also the see that I will stamp that a little with that lighter ink so that it's not so white I didn't use a makeup brush yet for the inked, but I do bought them. But I found them so beautiful that they're now at my makeup uh, stuff. So I didn't use that uh, yet. So I use a little bit of antique photo there. And I decide that I want to have my um, glue ribbons, my glue edges on the outside. Actually, that's also uh, what's done with the money envelopes that are made in a factory. Because if you have them on the inside, it might be aesthetic, uh, more nicer and beautiful. It gives uh, a nicer finished look. But you have trouble sometimes with putting the stuff that needs to go in the envelope. It will stuck behind the edges. And if you do them on the outside, then you have less trouble getting your tag in. I'm inking here and I'm going to uh, assemble the insert to the two envelopes. I will stick them with washi tape together and you see I show you that it, it, it doesn't bother so much that you have the edges on the outside because I didn't ink the envelope when it was not glued it, it doesn't give any problems with the uh, with the decorated uh, sides i'm going to use a washi tape i think i'm going to use a dotted washi tape if i'm correctly and remember good a darker one because i liked uh, the look of it and it fitted uh, see it does fit and I'm going to use that I'm not going to measure it but if you want to have from top to bottom uh, everything covered with your washi tape then you can measure it first before you cut uh, or tear your washi tape but I'm just going to eyeball it here and cut it and it's not all the way to the top I'm going to enhance it with uh, my bison uh, glue stick so it will stick permanently because not all the washi tape is sticking permanently and I'm going to line it on the bottom and then you will see it doesn't go all the way to the top with the smaller envelope and actually when you're done doing that and you can use anything there eh? i'm using washi tape but you can also use masking tape you can use normal tape you can use a piece of paper with glue it's what you like 
and what you aesthetically find more beautiful for your insert. There's a tiny gap there to make sure that everything, it's a very tiny, 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 tiny gap. It's really very small. It's maybe a spin size uh, piece between that. You almost barely can see it. And that's because it then flips and open and closed much easier and I chose it to have it on the inside and this is the decorating part that I'm accelerating and now there will be some music Here I'm telling you uh, that I done decorating it and what I put in it. I took uh, the, the tag of the other insert for a moment to show you that you can put it in. And I will show you the final. So three sides I decorated and the back side I didn't. And But you can put anything on that. You can journal on it. You can put a photo on it. There's in room to um, diverse your ideas. I keep adjusting the, the that circle there because I'm not happy with how it looks. Later on, off camera, I put a belly band there with a paper that with a piece of paper that was left of the A4. Uh, I put also a, a new tag in it because the tag that I now put in the bigger part is actually from the other insert and I want to thank you for watching and I hope you liked um, the first dubbed video